this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. I want to give you an example how files are organized in Maya. This is important if you import things with textures, for example, like uh, I'm going to show you now. This is the Maya projects folder, and uh, this is where I put mine. It's on a on an external drive, basically on D, and um, um, it's called Maya projects. It's under documents anyway, and uh, here you have source images. The source images are the uh, is a folder where the images are which are important for layout. When I open this, I see images like these. So they're all more or less JPEGs or PNGs or whatever. The scenes, that's the most used folder. That's where all the files are, which I use when I work in Maya and save things. When I save things with textures, the scenes are being saved here automatically, so to say. And automatically, without me having to take care of the source images, uh, land here. And the sound lands here. And the sound can be imported from here, textures somewhere else, movies here. Now let's go to an example how to install a new file you get into the different fo folders because Maya from an external source does not know where to put them. Just the other day I saw that renderpeople.com released a new free file with a dancing character. And it's this guy here. 3D animated people free download. This is Maya. And you don't need to register. You just can download the file. It's It comes in a zipped format and you get both of these persons. And in a previous tutorial I showed you uh, with her how delicate the motions are, including the fingers, the thumb for example. I'm analyzing this, uh, basically the skeleton and a little bit the texture. And the textures are the ones which land in the source image um, folder. Okay, but now this guy is new and we're in January 2019. In other portals you certainly have to register, so this is quite cool here. We just choose the format and this pop-up window comes. We can use 3D Max, Cinema, Maya and FBX, which is the neutral format basically. Let's go for Maya. And uh, it uh, is downloaded as a zip file. It's 217 megabyte big, so quite large, really. So it takes a couple of seconds until it's here. This procedure is basically the same with uh, Linux, Windows, and Apple operating systems. And I double click it. We have uh, Sophia animated. And here we have Manuel animated. And this is a sub subfolder also zipped so let's open that and here we see a photograph with the logo of the render people I'm not affiliated with them in any way I just found this out through Twitter yesterday and uh, the folder we're interested in is this one and in this one we have subfolders one is for scenes and one is for source images and uh, a workspace mail which we'll just ignore. So what we do is twofold. We go to the scenes, open the scene folder, copy the files here and then we navigate to our folder which we've seen before with the projects and the scenes and the source images and we go to the scenes now into the scenes and we just paste them there so they land in that folder. They're up here now. Now we go back here and check out the source images folder and we go to the source images now and in the source images we see the... Well actually we could visualize them like this. So that's what the textures look like. So we again select them all, copy them and open that folder with the source images in our project folder and paste them in here. 
Now when we go to Maya and we open a scene, open a scene, and we open the manual animated scene, for example the first one, or the second, the first one is for V-Ray rendering, uh, so if you have V-Ray you better choose that, and we can use the second one here for general purpose, and we open that, and press A, we see our character here in grey, and when we turn on the shading, we see him shaded properly because Maya is looking in the source images folders to load all the textures. If you forget to do this or if you put the source images in the scenes folder, this won't work. He starts his dance at frame sort of 50 and continues and the playback range ends here. Maybe your playback range ends at 120 frames. So we need to extend that and the easiest way to do that is basically to extend it right here to maybe 2000 frames and then when you pick him and see some of the keyframes for example here um, then you know that you can re reduce this to say 1339 and then you uh, cover the whole uh, dance. What I'll finally show you is him dancing with a toon shader. So I ignore all the nice textures he has here and render him in the toon shader with a red outline. So keep your files organized and be aware of where Maya searches for source images. Bye bye.